welcome back to my channel. I am Best Cat 8. So we're gonna talk about vitamin D today. I'm gonna tell you guys how to get vitamin D. I wanna share some things that I learned and some signs and symptoms to look out for because I do realize that there's a lot of people um, working from home these days and not getting as much vitamin D probably needed. So this video might be for you. If you're interested in my vitamin D deficiency story and how it actually affected my skin, my mood, um, my hair, then stay tuned. I'm gonna tell you guys what I did and how I recovered from it. We traveled a lot, and so I was used to getting out more um, than I had in the past couple of years um, because of the pandemic. This area over in Paris is called the Lover's Lock Bridge and it's supposed to be really romantic. You buy um, a lock and you get two keys and then you put your initials on the lock and then you lock the lock on the bridge and then each of you get to toss a key into the water. Well, we happen to take our little one on this trip with us, so he got a chance to throw a key into the water and then when it was my turn, he wanted to toss my key too, so there you have it when you take a kid to Paris. It was still a really exciting trip, but next time, we're not taking any kids. And as you can see, that most of the time I am in some body of water. And the majority of the year, I am usually wearing a bathing suit. Actually, even during the winter, um, because I like to get in the jacuzzi, so I pretty much wear a bathing suit all year long. We would take trips at least once a month pre-pandemic, so getting out and getting vitamin D was not an issue for me because I spent so much time out in the sun. And I've been working from home for quite some time now. So most of the time, if I wasn't traveling um, or we weren't on vacation, I was inside. And I know with all the pandemic and everything, happened recently that a lot of other people are also working from home and because you work from home you might not be getting a uh, sufficient amount of vitamin D. I know that I did it and um, working at home and not getting out as much as I used to created a huge vitamin D problem for me and so I just wanted to share with you guys um, my vitamin D deficiency um, story if you guys have not been getting as much vitamin D, I'm gonna share with you guys what I had to do to increase my vitamin D intake and how it helped my overall health. If you guys work from home, then this might be a video that you wanna watch. Let's get to it. So I've always taken a woman's multivitamin and this VitaFusion um, I've been taking for the last few years and I like it um, specifically because it's a gummy. But I take both kinds, um, the multivitamin and then also the one for hair, skin and nails. You guys happen to be looking for a multivitamin. These are really good and you can pick them up on Amazon. Also, I'm vegan or I should say plant-based because I have leather seats in my car, but um, I eat a balanced diet, at least I try to uh, most of the time, and I was doing everything I could think of, but I couldn't get my energy back up. I even amped up my meditation to a few times a day to see if that would help, and I was just exhausted. The only thing I wanted to do most of the time was lie in bed. I couldn't figure out why I was so drained and then my forehead started to break out with this little rash I was like okay I have to figure something out there's something wrong so I started adding more vitamin supplements into my diet and yes it looks like it's a lot but 
I was trying to figure out what I needed in order to start to feel normal and feel myself again. So these are the vitamins that I actually started to take and um, I was willing to try anything, you guys. Some of them I, I already took, like the vitamin C and the multivitamin and even the secret gold. Um, I was already taking those, but I added these vitamins, these additional ones to my diet to see if that would help me out. And what I did was I got this vitamin container and I would put each individual peel for seven days a week. Then I would open it up every evening and every morning, depending on which supplement it was, and I would take them. And I had to be taking, I don't know, anywhere between like 10 to 15 vitamins, maybe even more every single day. I was desperate. Stay to the end so you can see the damage it did to my face. So vitamin C is the main reason for the chemical reactions occurring in the body that helps produce energy. So I amped up my vitamin C. It's also an antioxidant and an anti-inflammatory. So I knew it would help to improve my skin. I also started taking turmeric because it helps to improve symptoms of depression and I was definitely feeling down. But it's also an anti-inflammatory and an antioxidant. So I not only took the pill, but I also would smear it and rub it all over my face. Turmeric actually helps with hyperpigmentation, um, eczema, and psoriasis. And I thought that that might become a problem, so that's why I started putting it on my face. I chose to take zinc because it's needed for your immune functions. Help your body heal, keep your metabolism going strong, and it's supposed to keep your blood sugar stable. I chose to take Naple Cactus because it's an antiviral, it protects your nerve cells, and it's also an antioxidant. I also started to take Milk Thistle, which is also called Bless Milk Thistle, and I was in need of a blessing. It's believed to help your liver, your kidney, your gallbladder, and reducing inflammation. I definitely had a chronic reaction, and like I said, I didn't know where it was coming from, so I was trying to attack it from every angle. I also took apple cider vinegar, which aids with digestion, and it also controls pathogens. It helps to prevent bacterial growth. Apple cider vinegar also helps to absorb all the minerals like calcium, magnesium, and iron, and all these other vitamins that I was taking. If your hair ever feels like it could use some moisture, you can use vitamin A on your hair as well. All cells need vitamin A for growth. A also helps to keep your skin glands um, oily with sebum, and sebum is what helps to keep your hair healthy. It also helps to support your immune system and it reduces acne. Although this video is not about hair specifically, iron is another one that you can take if you're trying to grow your hair out. Although I was taking it because I needed it to give me a boost of energy. Um, I don't eat red meat, so my doctor said that I was anemic. And iron deficiency would be another reason why um, a person might feel sluggish. That also would explain thinning hair. I took vitamin E because it's also a natural antioxidant and it's supposed to help um, keep a healthy scalp and hair growth. The antioxidant properties are supposed to help reduce the amount of oxidative stress and free radicals that cause the hair follicles in the cells of a person's scalp to break down. When I did my research, it said that panathenic acid was important for maintaining healthy skin. Like most of these vitamins, panathenic acid is a water-soluble vitamin, which produces energy by breaking down fats and carbs. And I started to question my diet, but COVID had hit and I didn't want to be out there, so I was trying to work it out. I remember thinking, I don't know what is going on, but I was not feeling like myself. So of course I added vitamin B12 because the nutrients in it helps your body's blood and your nerves um, and it's supposed to help make healthy DNA. B12 also helps to prevent megoblastic anemia, which is a blood condition that makes people obviously weak and tired. You guys hang in there, stay tuned. We've got three more to go and then I'm gonna show you what it did to my face. This vitamin is black elderberry. My physician said that I was under stress and I told him I didn't feel like it. 
Now we do have several businesses, so I went ahead and brought in elderberry because it's supposed to lessen stress. I also started taking DIM, and it includes broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage and cauliflower and it's supposed to help to adjust um, the estrogen hormone people always tell me that I don't look my age but I'm vintage so I was trying to balance everything out I also take copper um, this one is a liquid formula it's an oral supplement so I just take a dropper full and put it under my tongue there is a long list of benefits to copper it helps you make red blood cells it helps your nerve cells it helps to support your immune system it's good for collagen and promoting good bones and tissue it helps to absorb iron into your body and it turns sugar into energy I can't even list the number of benefits you get from taking gold but it does help to relieve pain so here's what my face started to look like and you see the other picture that I showed you in the beginning of my forehead Head. then I had a huge rash on my neck and it was so itchy and so annoying and my forehead and my face broke out and it got even worse you guys I was devastated my face had never looked like this before even in high school I didn't go through that acne stage that most kids have this is a perfect time for me to remind you that sunlight is essential for human health and well-being the sun's UV rays helps your body make vitamin D. The sunlight also kills bacteria. And if you're ever needing a mood booster, go get some sunlight because it releases serotonin, which also helps with stress. This vitamin D deficiency crept up on me slowly and I was doing the best I could at home, but eventually the doctor ordered some blood work and it had been about two months. And when the blood work came back, I found out that I had the deficiency and they ordered vitamin D supplements for me, prescription. Most people's vitamin D levels are anywhere between say 30 and 50. Like, seriously, mine were an eight. I thought I was going to die. Most people take about 500 IUs of vitamin D. As you can see, my doctor prescribed me 50,000 and I had to take them for 12 weeks. It worked, my skin started to clear up. I was so happy to get rid of the achy muscles, the fatigue, and even more the pain. I didn't think I was gonna ever look like myself again. That's how serious it was. To be totally honest, it did feel like a horror story to me, but eventually the scars cleared up, my health got better, and I stopped wearing makeup for a long time because I didn't wanna take any chances. It had to be about six months before I did wear makeup again. And when I did, I started off wearing it very lightly. But when I started feeling like myself again, could nobody tell me nothing? <laughs> That's what I get. But trust me, I learned. As y'all can see, I was feeling myself because I was happy to be back to normal. My skin was on point, my health felt back to normal, I was feeling great. It was definitely a reason to celebrate. How you doing? <laughs>to say I was back to my normal self and my husband ordered me bottles of vitamin D and I'm still taking them till this day it feels so good to have your skin on point and even your makeup lays better more smooth when your skin is right I know that it was not a good experience for me, but I did learn a lot. Um, I didn't even realize that I was vitamin D deficient until I went to my doctor and they did some tests. And um, it wasn't a fun experience, but um, and anybody that's ever gone through it will probably admit that it's not a fun experience to, to go through. I hope that some of the information will be beneficial to you. I appreciate you guys watching my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And click on the notification bell so you guys don't miss my future videos. And ladies, remember, it is what you say it is. Until next time, ladies. Mwah. Bye.